welcome to ABC Interactive English. This is Henry, and this is Karen. Uh huh. And today we are looking at day one of our stories and fables, and it's called "The Old Woman Who Lived in a Shoe." And the vocabulary words are husband, husband. Amanda's husband often goes on business trips. Spot, spot. I think I spotted Chad's cousin at the mall. Huge, huge. Where did Samantha get that huge diamond ring? Suggest, suggest. I suggest getting to the airport as early as possible.、Mm -hmm. So, Karen,、mm -hmm. uh, what do you, you、uh, look for in a husband? What do I look for in a husband? Yeah, do you ever use your like your father as a blueprint? Like this, as an example. Actually, kind of, you know, because、uh -huh. my dad was a really responsible、uh -huh. and caring father and a husband、mm -hmm. to my mom. So yeah, I guess when I think about an ideal husband, I would think of someone who's responsible, who would take care of his family, and、uh, who shows a lot of love and affection. That's nice. Yeah. How, what kind of husband do you think you will be? What kind of husband do I think? I thought you were going to ask me what kind of husband am I looking for. Do I? <laughs> I think I would be a decent father. A decent, decent husband. husband. Okay. Decent husband.、Uh, explain decent. By decent, you mean showing a lot of love and then caring for your wife and doing a lot of.、Um, I'll do the dishes.、Okay. That, that's what I mean by this. My decent. I'll, I'll do the dishes. Okay, so it's not like I'm a always, man. I'm not gonna do right, any housework. I promise、chores. I will do the dishes, just the dishes. Just the dishes. Okay, maybe the laundry too. Okay. <laughs> and sweeping and vacuuming.、Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Sometimes. Sometimes. Take turns.、Mm -hmm. Okay, you'll be a good husband. Decent. <laughs> decent. Okay. I didn't say good. I say decent. <laughs> okay. The question for today is: What did the giant do after he smashed the family's house? What did the giant do after he smashed the family's house? Decent, just decent. The old woman who lived in a shoe. Once there was an old woman. She lived in a shoe with her many children. They all took care of each other. The family didn't always live in a shoe. They used to have a house. One day, though, a giant came and smashed it. To pieces. After that, he trapped the woman's husband and took him to his castle. The woman's family was sad about this. Then her youngest son spotted the giant's huge shoe. He suggested staying in it until their father came back. They moved in and waited for him to come back, but he never did. Explanation one. Hi, I'm Jeff, and I'm Hanny. Welcome to day one of our stories and fables lesson for this month. This month, we'll be reading a story called "The Old Woman Who Lived in a Shoe."、Mm, wait a minute! Did you say shoe? I did. Are you saying that there was once an old lady who lived in a shoe? I am, for the purposes of the lesson. Now, did this lady ever actually exist? No. But stories—they don't need to be factual, right? Right? Right. Anyway, let's get down to business and start reading this month's story. Okay. The first line says, "Once there was an old woman." Right, she lived in a shoe with her many children. You heard that right, everyone. This old woman did not live in the shoe alone. Wow, what a terrible way for this family to live. Yeah, you would think that an entire family living in a shoe. You would think that that is terrible, or that that would be terrible. But Hanny. Quite the opposite is true, or quite the opposite is the fact. Get this: this shoe-dwelling family was a loving one. They loved living in the shoe. There in the shoe, they all took care of each other. 
But Jeff, they live in a shoe. How happy can they be? Moreover, how did they end up living in a shoe? Hmm. Good questions there, Hanny. Let's read on and see if we can't answer one of your questions. Get this: the family didn't always live in a shoe. Okay. In fact, they used to have a house. Well, Jeff. Thank you for confirming my suspicions, but still, what happened to their home, their original home? A giant came by and smashed it to pieces. A giant? What is going on here? Where did this giant come from? I, I have no idea, Hanny. I do know though that after he smashed the family's house, he stop right there, Jeff. Don't. Go any Wait, further. So you're saying you've had enough of this story? Has the strangeness of this story finally gotten to you? No, no, no. I stopped you because it is now time for the question of the day.、Mm. Okay, the question is: What did the giant do after he smashed the family's house? After that, he trapped the woman's husband and took him to his castle. After that. He trapped the woman's husband and took him to his castle. And husband, everyone, is the first vocabulary word of the day. Husband, husband, it's a noun. Married couples usually feature a man and a woman. In such a relationship, the man is called the husband and the woman is called the wife. Very simply, the husband. Is the male half of a married couple? For example, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Dun 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 dun. 现在我宣布你们结为夫妻。好 ，husband, husband 这个单词是名词，它表示丈夫。例如 ，She met her husband at work. She met her husband at work. 她是在工作的时候认识她老公的。再看个例句。Nina's husband quit smoking years ago. Nina's husband quit smoking years ago. Nina 她老公呢，在几年前已经戒烟了。好，故事里面的巨人啊，不但摧毁那一家人的房子，还用计把老太太的丈夫抓到她的城堡里面。那我们要先休息一下，待会再继续来听这个故事。Okay, everyone. With that, it is now time for a break. Correct. But don't go away, you guys. We'll be back. Soon. Soon. 欢迎收看《旧爱讲英文》，我是悠悠，我是季安。当我们在给人家意见的时候，除了直接。给人家意见该怎么做，但我们也可以反问的方式来提供更好的选择。嗯，反问呢，就是反问，你何不干嘛干嘛干嘛？你何不？ Okay, 对对对，那英文就是 Why not？ Why not？ 后面加动词原形。OK， 那它等于 Why don't you do something？ Why don't you do something？ 比方说动词原形啊，比方说什么？这个、客人呢，这个、client 好会拖，都不回我的信，也都不回，搞得我很焦虑。焦虑。焦虑就是 anxious, <笑> anxious, anxious, anxious.、Okay. anxious. 那你就直接打电话给他就好了。啊、oh, ，我害羞。已读不回对吧？直接卡电话，重要代志直接卡。<笑>你就 Why not call your client directly? Why not call your client directly?、嗯、directly 就直接直接拨电话，别、嗯、拨电话给他。但是你知道，还有老板给了我一个新的任务，但我不太确定我自己可不可以胜任这个任务。胜任这个老板给的新任务呢？嗯、任务叫 handle。handle handle 就是能够去处理处理什么东西呢？ Handle. What the boss just assigned me. What the boss just assigned me.、嗯、就是 handle what the boss just assigned me. 那不一定是 boss 啊，如果是你的主管，哦、对不对 ？Handle what the manager just assigned me.、嗯、yeah. Okay. 那 assign 什么意思？就是指派。哦、oh, ，不是 assign、嗯。他派派什么什么东西给我做，这样对指派。可是我不确定啊。就前面讲。I'm not sure. I'm not sure. 所以 I'm not sure if I can handle what the boss just assigned me. 
I'm not sure if I can handle what the boss just assigned me. 对，简单简单。嗯，所以要鼓励，给对方点勇气，该怎么说？志玲姐姐，加油！加油！嗯，我们叫 Why Why don't you， <笑>或者是 Why not give it a try？ Why don't you? Why not give it a try? Why don't you give it a try? Why not give it a try? Ah,、oh. uh, give it a try. You have to say give it a shot. 什么意思啊？放手一搏。放手一搏 ，give it a shot. 啊、oh, ，试试看。对，就是试试看。对不对？就是冲，冲，走得掉啊，冲。那除了这样还可以说什么？你还可以说 go ahead， 走一个头。对对对，就去吧，<笑>冲。Go ahead， 对对对要表白，赶快表白，<笑>冲。Go ahead. 这样没有那么简单。你说要放手，但我还是会害怕。别惊，我好立刻。I've got your back. 真的吗？对，如果对方会害怕，你说 OK， 有我在，连环的。I've got your back. 我会罩着你的。I've got your back. 不要。好，让他自己在自己的小世界里面。我们来看一下今天的 live action. Yo yo, are you okay? I'm so anxious. The, the, the client isn't replying to my emails. Why not call him directly?、Uh, okay.、Uh, and I'm not sure if I can handle what the boss just assigned me.、Uh, um, Why don't you give it a try? You can do it. You can do it. And no, no, no. Take it easy, uh, yo yo. Uh, 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 I've got uh, your back. All right. You'll, you'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> Explanation two. Welcome back. Hanny and I are reading day one of this month's stories and fables. Our story is titled "The Old Woman Who Lived in a Shoe." Well, this is a strange story, everyone. An old woman and her entire family live in a shoe. They love each other and take care of each other while living in this shoe. They had a house once upon a time, but a giant came by and smashed it. Yep, that's what this story is all about. And we're not done. Everyone, there's more. This giant, this giant also took the woman's husband and locked him up in a castle. Unsurprisingly, the woman's family was sad about all of this. Well, they were sad, that is, until they found. The shoe. Correct. Right after the giant had wrecked everything, her youngest son spotted the giant's huge shoe. There you go. Also, spot and huge are the second and third vocabulary words of the day. Spot, spot. It's a verb. In this story, the verb spot has a simple meaning. If you spot something, you see that thing. You see something that might be difficult to see, or which others might have failed to notice. But very simply, to spot something here is to see that thing. For example, he spotted a friend he hadn't seen in years in the crowd. 他在人群中看到一个许久未见的老朋友。那么 spot. Spot 这个单词在课文里面，它是当动词，表示看见、瞥见。那通常是用来表达比较难见到的人或事物。例如 ，He spotted a fox in the woods. He spotted a fox in the woods. 他在森林里面看见一只狐狸。好，再看个例句。The woman claimed that she had spotted a UFO. The woman claimed that she had spotted a UFO. 那一名女子她声称她有看见幽浮哎。好，接着我们来学今天第三个单词是 huge. Next up, we have the third vocabulary word of the day, huge. Huge, huge. It's an adjective. If something is huge, this thing is really large or really big. This thing might even be enormous or gigantic. For example, the bus driver is huge. 那一位公车司机身形壮硕，他非常高大。那么 huge， huge 这个单词它是形容词，就是用来形容很巨大的、啊、很庞大的。例如， there's a huge tree in front of the temple. There's a huge tree in front of the temple. 那一间寺庙前面有一棵非常大的树
。好，再看个例句 ：The band's first album was a huge success. The band's first album was a huge success. 那个乐团它的第一张专辑呢是大成功，非常成功。回到故事里面，老太太的丈夫被巨人抓走了，那全家人都很伤心。后来老太太的小儿子就发现巨人的鞋子，巨人的鞋子当然是很巨大，大到可以住人。那于是这家人就搬进去住了。Well, it wasn't long before the family moved into this shoe. In fact. Right after the youngest son of the woman spotted the thing, he suggested staying in it until their father came back. And the rest is history, so to speak. That's when they started living in the shoe. Anyway, suggest is the final vocabulary word of the day. Suggest, suggest. It's a verb. To suggest something. Is similar to giving a person some advice. If you suggest something to someone, let's say you recommend something in the hopes that this person will think about doing this thing. For example, I suggest you move into the shoe, Mom. Okay, let's do it, son. 妈妈，我建议你搬到鞋子里面住。好，如果平常我们对妈妈说这句话，应该会被揍吧。Suggest. Suggest 这个单词它是动词，表示建议、提议。那常见的用法是在 suggest 后面接名词或是动名词。例如 ，He suggested taking a walk after dinner. He suggested taking a walk after dinner. 他提议晚餐后去散步。好，另外一个常用的句型是 suggest 加上 that 主词 should 原形动词。那其中的助动词 should 可以省略不用，只留下后面的原形动词。例如 ，Jeff suggested that I buy a tablet rather than a laptop. Jeff suggested that I buy a tablet rather than a laptop. Jeff 老师建议我买平板电脑，不要买笔记型电脑。他觉得平板携带很方便，随时都可以用平板来工作打发时间。好，回到故事里面，小儿子提议说，全家人就住在巨人的鞋子里面，等待爸爸回来。他可能觉得最危险的地方就是最安全的地方吧。All right, everyone, let's wrap up today's story. Apparently, the old lady thought her son's suggestion was a good one, because next they moved in and waited for him to come back, but he never did.、Mm. Him, by the way, being the father of the children, and the husband to the wife. Anyway, with that, day one of our story is now complete. But don't go away, you guys. There is plenty more of the story to come. The old woman who lived in a shoe. Once there was an old woman. She lived in a shoe with her many children. They all took care of each other. The family didn't always live in a shoe. They used to have a house. One day, though, a giant came and smashed it to pieces. After that, he trapped the woman's husband and took him to his castle. The woman's family was sad about this. Then her youngest son spotted the giant's huge shoe. He suggested staying in it until their father came back. They moved in and waited for him to come back, but he never did. Welcome to Chinese English Learning. I'm Daphne. Today, we're going to learn three different words. The first one means to express sadness about something. Somebody is sad about something. The second one is to express the age of the oldest son. Her youngest son. The third one is to express the sadness about something. The fourth one is to express the sadness about something. The fifth one is to express the sadness about something. The sixth one is to express the sadness about something. The seventh one is to express the sadness about something. The eighth one is to Somebody is sad about something. 意思是某人对某事物感到难过。形容词 sad 在这里是难过的意思。后方用介系词 about 关于引出感到难过的事情。例如 ，I am sad about Emma's breakup with Tom. 我对艾玛和汤姆分手感到难过。此外，我们还可以用其他的情绪形容词来代替 sad。例如 ，excited 兴奋的。
happy 开心的 ，angry 生气的。例如 ，The passengers are angry about the delay. 乘客对误点感到生气。接着来看下一则文法。Her youngest son 意思是她最小的儿子，其中 youngest 是 young 年幼的最高级，表示最年幼的。例如 ，My youngest sister， 我的小妹。相对字则是 eldest 或 oldest， 意思是最年长的。例如 ，My oldest brother， 我的大哥。来看个例句。Audrey's eldest brother is older than she by ten years. 奥黛丽的大哥比她大十岁。接着来看下一则文法。句型 A waits for B to 加原形动词，意思是 A 等待 B 做某事。Wait 在这里是不及物动词等待的意思。后方先接人事物当受词，再用不定词 to V 引出等待的事情。例如。Bonnie is waiting for the nail polish to dry. Bonnie 在等指甲油干。以上就是今天的三则文法，全民说英语。我们下次见喽。A sentence a day. Hi everyone, welcome to a sentence today with me, Karen. 这个月呢，要跟大家聊的呢，就是在你租房子或者是租公寓的时候会用到的一些英文。今天要讲的句子呢，就是当你在租房子的时候，就会跟人家谈到月租金，对不对？那今天的句子就是月租金是一千五百元。这一句英文应该要怎么说呢？你可以说 ，The rent is one thousand and five hundred dollars a month. The rent is one thousand and five hundred dollars a month. So whenever you want to rent an apartment, okay, or rent a place to stay, rent a condo or a townhouse, of course you have to talk about the rent, which is the monthly payment for your landlord. Now in today's case, the rent is one thousand and five hundred dollars. So we're probably talking about U.S. dollars or Canadian dollars, okay? Because that makes more sense as A monthly payment. So whenever you want to go rent an apartment, it's important to talk about the rent. Okay. Now the sentence for today is: The rent is one thousand and five hundred dollars a month. The rent is one thousand and five hundred dollars a month. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hello， 大家好，我是 Hanny， 又到我们一分钟的单元喽。那我们今天同样是用一分钟的时间来复习在 Stories and Fables 学到的四个单词。同学们，您都准备好了没？一分钟计时开始。第一个单词叫做丈夫，丈夫的英文怎么说呢？叫做 husband。Husband, Gloria's husband is an engineer. Gloria, 她的丈夫是一位工程师。好，再看第二单词叫做看见、瞥见，不是只用 see 或是 look at 或是 watch。我们用 spot 这个字 ，spot 它表示比较难注意到、比较难看见的事物。She spotted a rare bird and took a picture of it. 她看见一只很稀有的鸟类，然后把它拍下来。好，再看第二个单词啊，不，第三个单词叫做巨大的、很庞大的。庞大怎么说？叫做 huge, huge. There's a huge teddy bear in the lobby of the hotel. 饭店的大厅有一只超大只的泰迪熊。再看第四个单词叫做建议，我们有学过 advice 这个字叫建议，我们还学另外一个叫做 suggest。Suggest 也是建议，是当动词。I suggest that you take the airport MRT to the airport. 我建议你搭机场捷运去机场。好，太好啦！我们在一分钟之内已经顺利复习完四个单词，同学们表现很棒哦。那回去一定要多多复习，多多造句练习。今天的 A B C Interactive English 到此为止，下次见喽，拜拜。